What's going on, Combat Sports Nation? This is Sean here. Fight week for CES 41 with Richard Santiago, who will be fighting Raymond Yanez. Richard, how are you, my friend? Good, man. Thanks for having me, Sean. Uh, guys at Combat Sports Nation, you guys are always good to me. Um, yeah, man, training's going really well. Uh, put in a real hard work. You're returning back to 35. Your, your last fight was short notice. You, ha you had to go in for 140. Um, but you've never fought as a pro at 25, and that's where you fought most of your amateur career. Uh, how do you like being a little heavier? Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Um, 35 is a good weight for me because uh, I, I only have to cut like 10 to 15 pounds, and you know, I still look good at that weight. I mean, when I'm when I make 25, I'm kind of dying on the scale, you know. But um, you know, as of right now, I'm just I'm trying to stay as active as possible. And, you know, the best way to do that is to not constantly be going through those grueling weight cuts. So that's why I've been fighting at 35 so often. I mean, 10 pounds can make a big difference, but for me, it doesn't feel that different. I still feel like I'm just as fast. Um, my, my, my pro debut against Brandon Warren, um, well, he, that was, that was a last minute uh, kind of change up there. He was actually scheduled to fight at 25, mm -hmm. so he weighed in a lot lighter than me. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, I still felt like I was a faster guy, and I was obviously the bigger guy. So, what? let's see here. We have Raymond Yance, again, CES 41. It's coming up uh, live on Access. Do you know if your fight's going to be um, uh, on the live broadcast, or are you going to be undercard? Uh, I think I'm undercard, but uh, I think they do filler fights, so hopefully I'll end up on TV somehow. That's right. Yeah, get a good knockout or something. Uh, you're right now... Uh, on a six-fight winning streak extending back into your amateur career from July of 2015. Um, you know, we, we've talked about that that evolution that yeah, you've gone through. Uh, are you happy where you are right now? I'm pretty happy with where I am right now. You know, I'm in a good position. I have a good relationship with CES. Six-fight win streak. Um, yeah, man, I'm just excited about the future. I'm, I'm going to fight. I want to fight, like, at least five times this year. So we'll see what happens. So you are facing a guy who's four and eight. He's returned to the win column, his last event. He was on a six fight losing skid. So he still probably has some, you know, trying to build off that momentum. Uh, what do you know about Raymond? Um, yeah, I was at that fight, his last fight at CES that he won. Um, yeah, I really wasn't that impressed. He looked okay on his feet. He looked kind of stiff. Uh, he's definitely shorter than me, and uh, yeah, I think he took the guy down, and he actually got swept like right away. And then, but the guy who swept him, he kind of left his neck out, and you know, Raymond got the guillotine. But I mean, I really, I wasn't impressed with him. You know, I'm pretty sure I can go in and smoke him. Where do you get that confidence from? I don't know, man. Probably just training with good guys, and just I mean, I. Even when, like, I was on a losing streak, like, I knew I was better, you know what I mean? Like, I, I watched certain guys' fights, and I'm like, he can't do that to me. He's not going to do that to me, you know what I mean? I just, I have it in my head that I have to have that confidence in my head or else, you know what I mean, how, how can I go out there, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's very cool. Well, um, so I know you said you watched a little bit of his film. Um, you... I don't want to call you a choke out artist, but uh, <laughs> you've you've knockout artist. But you have um, ended without looking at the specific numbers. Many of your fights by a choke. Are you? Um, oh, they, look at that! Look at that! So, so are you aware that your uh, opponent, many of his losses have come via the choke? Were you aware? I was not aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> as, as now you're like okay okay so but um has there been anything other than his last fight that you feel as if you're going to exploit or has there been anything in this camp that you that you sort of had to customize not giving away a game plan but just customize uh something according to him or um not really i mean if i look at someone's tape i'm not really going too in depth with it i mean the one thing I look for is, like, what stance he's in, I guess, because I, I stand southpaw, so I'm so used to fighting orthodox guys, and he does stand orthodox, so, I mean, 
I'm just going to go in and take his head off. I mean, I don't really want to take him down at all. I, I Just because, I mean, you just told me he got choked out so many times. <laughs> like, I, I, I want to go in and knock his head off then, but <laughs> let's try something else. <laughs> so, you, since your move to um, pro, you've been at CES, this will be your third visit into the CES cage. Um, how how far do you believe or what kind of performance do you believe you will need to to get the national spotlight and possibly move to the the next event on national TV? CES is real good to me. Um, my pro debut, I think they had me on three fights. So this is my third. And um, yeah, man, um, Pat's been real good to me. Uh, I have a good relationship to him. I think after I take this guy's head off, and we go back, you know, hopefully they'll want me back for a fourth, fifth, and sixth fight. Um, but I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll have to figure that out. But, yeah, I'm hoping with a real good performance on Friday, if I go in and take his head off, you know, the next one, CES 42, I'll be on TV, you know. I'm looking at the 2016 schedule for um, CES. You legitimately could have the opportunity to fight, uh, you know, five, six times this year. What gives you that ability? What what keeps you healthy? Is it the training? Is it? I understand you just said the McDonald's diet isn't helping you, but what <laughs> what is it that's helping you keep um, uh, yourself injury free so you can go ahead and continue to to get back in the cage? Yeah, probably, you know, just just training smart, you know, not sparring stupid and not trying to hurt people, not training with people that are going to hurt me. Um, you know, I have good coaches around me. I have good training partners. Um, but, yeah, man, I just, as far as staying active, it's just, again, it's not doing the grueling weight cut every time. And on top of that, yeah, just training smart and, I mean, knock on wood, I've, I've never had a major injury in the sport. Even going back to wrestling, I've never had anything bad. I'm not sure what that is, if it's just luck or I'm just, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this year I'll just knock on wood, stay, stay injury-free and keep going. At the end of 2016, you had some changes go on with your, your fight camp or uh, the gym that you were at. Uh, no longer Rivera Athletics, but now... Um, you're, you're with, um, BST MMA and fitness, which is pretty much you guys as a whole that were at Rivera athletics sort of created this new gym. It, it, am I saying it correctly? Yeah, pretty much. So like, um, uh, about mid last year, um, George Rivera, who started Rivera athletics, he, um, him and his family decided to make a move to Florida. Uh, his whole family's down there. So, you know, he, he, he decided to move out. Um, and we basically, you know, everybody else that was at the gym, we basically, you know, we picked up and moved to a new location and called it BSD. You know, same same environment. We just didn't have George. But, uh, yeah, you know, we're doing really well. It's uh, it's going great. And um, training has been awesome. So, just can't for explain. A, just for a quick plug, where is that located? Uh, 28... Hastings Street, Mendon, Mass, BSC MMA and Fitness. Check us out. We, we know we're very familiar with your skills on the ground, standing up. Um, we're somewhat familiar with your opponent from his last event and watching some previous tape myself. Looking at your skills side by side, grappling, stri striking, submissions, cardio, which you've been known for. Oh, except for last event. I know you, you had to cut that, but it's understandable with the, with the, uh, off the couch, yeah. yeah that's, that's right, which was still impressive. Um, <laughs> where, how, how do you say your skills match up side by side, even if it was only the last fight that you're familiar with him? <laughs> how do you say your, your skills match up? Um, yeah, I don't know. He, he, he's tough, you know. He's, he's had a lot of fights. He's, you know, he's experienced. And, I mean, he's, he's, he's got to be tough if he keeps going out there time and time again. You know, you can't really knock him. Uh, I respect anybody who gets in there. But, I mean, if you put us side by side, I mean, I I just have, like, I mean, I, I feel like I just have, a, a, a like, a better camp around me. You know what I mean? I have better people around me taking care of me. So it's just skill side by side. I, I, 
I don't want to say I'm a lot better, but I'm a lot better, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's going to be a good night. We'll see what happens. Uh, I plan on taking this head off. So, uh, most fighters, and I know you do too, play out the fight in their mind from the time that they sign the contract up through, you know, fight night. Um, have you played the fight out in your mind, and do you have a prediction for us? I mean, a little bit, just like in training. Um like working with my coach on pads and stuff, we kind of talk about like, okay, well, if he does this, I'm going to do this, whatever. There's just little strategic things to be aware of. But I mean, I don't really like to build it up too much. I don't want to constantly be thinking about this guy. I mean, it's fight week now, so obviously I got to get serious. But like the past four or five weeks, I wasn't thinking about him all too much. I was just going in and training, you know? And, um, yeah, like I said, I don't like to build it up too much. I just, the fight, the wig of the fight is here, and this is where I'm going to really be serious and think about it. You know what I mean? I don't want to burn myself out thinking about it for, like, six weeks, you know? What can the fans expect? I, like, I, I want to stay on my feet for the most part, but, I mean, I'm, I've been wrestling for, I, I wrestled for about 10 years, so, like, those instincts are just in me. Like, if the takedown's there, if I see it, I just... I just can't help myself but go for it, you know? So, but I always tell myself, like, I'm going to keep this fight on the feet, but then once we start clinching, and then I throw somebody to the ground, and then I choke them out, and that's how my fight has been going. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm hopefully I'm going to come at him and swing, you know? So, and I really want to put him down with this one. This is going to be the one, okay? I'm going to knock him out, all right? <laughs> People know who support you, and... Um... And how they can stay in contact with you? Uh, yeah, man. Um, I got um, lots of sponsors this time around. Uh, Salon Vaccaro, Igalia Medina Photography, oh. who you're very familiar with. <laughs> um, DJ Ferreira, um, Billy the Pizza Man. Um, <laughs> but yeah, a few more. Uh, sorry, I didn't get everybody. Um, you can follow me on Facebook. Just my name, Richard Santiago. Instagram, Instagram, Ricardo Miguel 1010. Um, Snapchat, Ricardo Miguel. Um, yeah, man. Uh, if there was a message to your opponent, what's the one thing that he's going to learn real quick once the cage door is closed behind you guys? Uh, I don't know. Um, probably, you know, just let's fight, man. I just want a good fight. I want a good, hard, let's bang out fight. You know what I mean? That's what I want, honestly. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna steal the show. I want everybody looking at my fight and being like, "That was the best fight of the night," you know. Be that fight that that, and we we said it earlier, filler fight. But be that fight that that the Axis TV hopes there's some early finishes on the main card so they can get you highlighted on that main card, yeah. right? So. Um. Rich, on TV. No, get you back on or get you on TV. Richard, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. The Combat Sports Nation appreciates it. Um, we appreciate the uh, time and uh, we look forward to seeing you at CES 41 this Friday live on Access TV. Um, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, man. Good to talk to you always. Thank you. <laughs>